Good morning and welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment. It is Friday. It is Friday, September 30th, and we are heading into a fabulous weekend. I do believe the weather is getting lovely outside, which means it's cooling down. Fall is almost here. I took a picture of an orange tree yesterday. It was like, wow, look, fall is almost here. Fantastic. I guess technically it is here, isn't it? Well, anyway. So again, welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment, the only, as far as I know, I'm going to keep saying this so someone corrects me, the only daily photography show live on Facebook. I know it's like 20 different qualifiers, but hey, you know, you take what you can get. So today's photo moment is all about a new feature that was just added within the last couple of days, I'm going to assume here, to Lightroom Mobile. Now, this particular feature only applies if you are the happy, proud new owner of an iPhone 7 Plus, which you might start to guess already what this is about. It is about the dual camera input on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, as you probably know, as we have discussed before, let's go ahead and switch on the camera here. You have, uh, obviously you've got a camera on the iPhone that is built in and you can switch to the second camera. So this, I don't have a set, I didn't build a set today to really show this thing very well, but that's okay. So you can look, you can look at me and my switcher. It's very exciting. Um, you have the ability to toggle over to a second camera. There's a little one X, you tap that and it goes two X and it switches to the second camera. Now, one thing that we have discovered, uh, unfortunately, that is that when you switch to the 2X camera, you're not always switching to the 2X camera. Sometimes it is just digitally zooming on the 1X camera, reason being that the 2X camera can't focus quite as closely as the 1X camera. And unfortunately, in the Apple camera interface, there is no indication of which camera you are actually using. So you don't know whether you've got the 1X camera digitally zoomed or the 2X camera. The built-in camera built-in camera app also does not capture raw. That's something that was opened up to third-party developers. And right away, a bunch of developers came out with raw capture apps. There is raw by 500px. There is uh, Lightroom, of course. There is well, Camera Plus, mm, ooh, they've talked about it. I don't think it's out yet. And then there's Manual, uh, and there's at least a couple of more out there. So there's quite a few apps that are allowing you to capture raw. But when they all first came out, none of them had yet turned on the ability to access that second camera. Some of them had zoom, but as far as you could tell, it was just using the digital zoom. It was never actually accessing the second camera. And then yesterday, I'm out messing around with my iPhone, and I see something very exciting. Oh, look, email's coming in. I see something very exciting on Lightroom, and that is the access to the second camera. So let's see how this works. Let's close this guy out. And Lightroom, I'm going to hard press on that. Long, yeah, hard press, I guess we'll call it, and hit take photo, which is going to take me straight to the, uh, straight to the camera, in theory. <laughs> Come on, you. I don't know why they've done this interface a little bit differently. Everybody else has a nice big spacing. They've grumped them all together there. A little bit annoying. All right, up in the top right corner, do you see it? A little tiny lens with a little tiny T on it. When I tap that, boom, switches to the telephoto lens. Check that out. So now we have access to that second lens within Lightroom, which means we can shoot with that second lens and shoot raw, which is just crazy cool. Now, um, what I wanted to see, which I haven't yet, was to see how closely I could focus yet. And this is something I was waiting to do live. So right now I'm, I'm pointing at my keyboard. Let's, let's go back to the regular lens. And at this distance from my keyboard, I can very clearly focus on it. And you can see on the live video how close I am. In fact, let's get even closer. Is that focused? Let's try that again. Eh, not quite. Let's back up a little bit. That's focused. So we're, we're close. I mean, what is that? Like three inches, three and a half inches? Do I have a should I measure it? Sure, why not? Let's see if I can do this. This is stupid. Why am I doing this? Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's actually, wait, nope, not quite there. We're there. We're going to call that, yep, just under three inches. Okay, so that's pretty close. That's just very technical measuring right there, by the way. Stop. And um, that is close focusing with the 1X lens. Now, we can, not in Lightroom, because I don't think you can zoom in. Can you? Oh, you can zoom. You can pinch into zoom. So we can zoom in with the Lightroom app just like you could with the software, um, with the regular camera that comes with iOS. And you can see we're zooming in there. We are still focused close. That is that is some close focusing there, but we're using the One X. So let's switch over to the telephoto lens. And now we want to see how closely we can focus. So they're very clearly not in focus, not in focus. Mm, still no, I'm not going to call that focus. Oh, I really got to fix that. There we go. That's, is that, is, is that sharp? I'm looking at the L. Look at this, look at the, yeah, the center keys. Uh, I guess that's focus. Let's call that focus. So now, now what are we talking about here? Now, I'm going to ask it really technical here. Now we're talking about eight-ish inches, which is good. 
But frankly, when I was playing with the software camera before, I was not seeing that close of focus. When I was that close, it was still using the digital zoom, which is a little odd. So I guess what that tells us is that the built-in camera is not really switching over until maybe a little bit later, or maybe it just takes more time to figure out which camera it should use and it's defaulting to the digital zoom. Not quite sure, but if you're shooting with Lightroom, or I'm sure soon to be all the other raw capable apps out there, switching to that telephoto lens, you know you've got it because there's UI. This is, we are on the telephoto lens right now. Telephoto. Telephoto lens is really a standard lens. Anyway, um, we are on that second lens and that is great because then we know with confidence that we're using that longer lens. And of course, at that point, if we're too close to focus, then we can make the decision to step back or to switch to the regular lens and zoom in digitally. But of course you would never do that. So. That is that. That is the new feature in the Lightroom Mobile. Again, I just saw that yesterday. Very exciting, very cool. So one of the things I'm thinking of doing, and this will be something for the photoapps.expert website, is a roundup on raw apps, a raw capable shooting apps. Because there's a lot of camera apps out already. More are coming, I'm sure. And what's the differences? What's the difference between them? One of the things that I don't know, and this, is, this will be interesting to compare, is whether you get any default processing out of the raw camera from out of the raw image from Apple. Now I've what I've seen in Lightroom when I shoot raw is the image comes up and it looks quite nice and saturated and bright and poppy and whatever. But then you need to play around with it and adjust it. And when you start to adjust a slider, you'll see the image change like a lot. It'll change dramatically and then you're going, wait, hold on, what just happened here? And if you go in and you hit reset, then it resets to an image that's way flatter than the image that you shot. So what that tells me is that Lightroom is capturing the raw image and then applying its own processing to it, which makes perfect sense. That is totally logical. What I want to do is see what all these other apps are doing and compare them. Let's see who's giving us the best out of camera experience with the raw shooting capabilities. And this will apply to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, as well as the 6S and 6S Plus, because those all are able to capture raw and a couple of the newer iPads as well, although. I think most people are using their iPhones for this sort of thing. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, that's something I'm going to work on, and that'll be posted on the on the uh, big site, on the photoops.expert site. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, that was it. Today's photo moment. Nice and sweet, short and sweet, easy one. If you've got an iPhone 7 Plus with that dual lens, of course, it's the only iPhone with a dual lens, you'll absolutely want to download uh, Lightroom Mobile. It's a free app. As far as I know, it's free. Even if you're not a Lightroom subscriber, I could be wrong on that. But I think even if you're not a Lightroom subscriber, then you can still get the app for free. And what you can do is save your photo, your raw file to the camera roll. And that will save a, um, it's a DNG inside, it shows up as a DNG inside of Lightroom. Um, I think it shows as a .tiff inside of photos once you migrate over and you know, sync it back to your photos library at, uh, on your desktop. But it's a raw file. Suffice it to say, either way, it is a raw file. So you can shoot raw with Lightroom and drop it in. So check it out if you're an iPhone 7 Plus user. Check that out. It's one you're going to want. And even if you're not, uh, if you're not using that, the newer phone, you don't have that one feature. Lightroom Mobile is still pretty sweet. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. That was a short and sweet one. Have a great weekend. As always, if you come up with anything that you want to have answered, throw it into the comments because that is what this is all about. I want to answer your questions. I've got a few things murking in my head for next week. Some will take a bit more prep. Some are quick and easy ones. Uh, and I know that a couple users have sent in some more advanced questions, which I will be addressing at some point in the nearest future. These are more like go out in the studio and do a practice shoot or set up a shot. So those have to be on ones where I don't have quite as much going on at that time so I can prep for them. Anyway, that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye.